This week's Instant Expert is a big one. We're rounding up 32 awesome, surprising details that you may not already know about Watch Dogs, Ubisoft's open world hack em up that's out at the end of May. We'll start off with what we know about multiplayer. You can be hacked by other players who invade your world and hide amongst the crowds, similar to how you hide in Assassin's Creed. At first, you might not even notice they're there until they start hacking your smartphone and stealing your data. Take them out quickly and you'll receive an online XP boost which will allow you to unlock online specific combat perks. The mode can also be initiated at any time so long as both players have opted in, adding an almost dark soul sense of permanent threat to proceedings. There are other modes as well. Decryption mode is similar to Capture the Flag where players must hold onto a file for a length of time in order to decrypt it. The file can be pinched by hacking the opposing team and your team is there to help reacquire or defend it. On top of this, there are one-on-one -on -one missions and online racing. A full free roam mode for up to eight players is also planned. The idea here is that players themselves will decide the point of this by using their imaginations and inventing their own games. Finally, for multiplayer, we have the CTOS mobile app. This is a free app for Android or iOS tablets and phones, and you don't even need watchdogs to use it. It's an opt-in experience that lets you challenge a player to run a gauntlet of sorts, driving from checkpoint to checkpoint as you try to stop them. To this end, you can use choppers, police cars, SWAT teams, and blockades, and you have the same array of hacks at your disposal as Aiden himself. We'll talk a bit about location next. Chicago was picked because it's a city on the bleeding edge of surveillance technology. With over 10,000 private security cameras, it's a city dedicated to detecting and preventing crime at the earliest opportunity. With the location chosen, Ubisoft began developing watchdogs at a one-to-one -one scale with Chicago. Most of the notable landmarks are in, but things have been adjusted to add an additional layer of playability. It's not an exact replica, but it's as close as you can get in a functioning game. It isn't just urban sprawl either. If you look at the trailers, you'll see some rural areas that surround the city, as well as the more suburban outskirts. Variation, it seems, is paramount, and the city is broken up into six areas, each with its own look. In order to unlock all the side quests, which we'll come to in a bit, you'll have to hack the CTOS tower in each location, a classic Ubisoft mechanic. Now, hacking is obviously the central conceit of Watch Dogs, but how exactly does it work? We all know that it's run by CTOS, an operating system that provides free citywide Wi-Fi, as well as efficiently automating almost every public service in the city. This means that all these services are at Aiden's disposal. To hack them, all you need to do is look at the thing you want to hack and hit a button, and you can even go into bullet time mode while driving to slow things down and hack stuff as you ride by. Your smartphone can be used in combat to see enemies through walls, as well as remotely trigger explosives, crush enemies with steel containers, and even send fake text messages from loved ones to distract them. It's all massively deep stuff. But it isn't all functional. You can even listen in on phone conversations which occasionally lead to side quests, but not always. The intention here is to add colour, breathing life into Watch Dogs' digital version of Chicago. And that leads us to privacy violations. These are hacks that let you peer inside the private lives of Chicago's inhabitants. Here you can see things like a mother trying to soothe her crying baby, or people dancing by themselves in their homes. These are marked on the map and require the completion of a mini-game to access. They're essentially collectibles, but they do add colour as well. Next we'll talk a bit about the story, and if you want to avoid spoilers, click the annotation now to skip ahead to the next section. Tonally, Watch Dogs is pretty dark, similar to gloomy titles like Max Payne. Aiden himself is a man with a very chequered history. The game starts with a botched robbery, setting to motion a series of events which cost the life of Aiden's six-year-old niece. The police and the media both portray the event as Pierce's fault, so he has to descend into the shadows to elude capture. The game begins properly 11 months later, with Aiden utilising his hacking skills to enact revenge. His family are still in danger and Aiden is a damaged man. It's your job as the player to guide his evolution. The narrative is broken up into five acts, 
comprising a total of 30 missions. As well as the main missions, there are nearly 80 optional side quests and events dotted throughout the city. Not only that, but there are 53 investigations that are basically quick-fire puzzles, as well as countless collectibles. There's an Arkham City level of content in here. The final word on story is that an average playthrough will take approximately 35 to 40 hours. If you want to see everything, however, you're looking at over 100 hours of gameplay. We'll round up the side quests next. As we predicted in our earlier trailer breakdown, you can scour the city for hidden QR codes. Your in-game smartphone can also be used for side quests. Using a knockoff Foursquare app, you can check in at various hotspots and temporarily become mayor of city landmarks. There's also a Shazam-style app that lets you collect songs and collate your own playlists. You can play chess if you choose, or take part in poker tournaments and use your phone to monitor your opponent's stress levels. We've already seen plenty about the digital trips, but it's worth noting what a different spin they put on stuff when compared to the super serious main quest. Tank lets you take control of a massive mechanized spider, and Madness transforms Chicago into a hellscape of flaming-headed zombies. There's also a final digital trip that we don't know about yet, known only as Alone. If you've seen what this is, please let us know in the comments. On top of these, we've got the augmented reality games. Invasion is a wave-based shooter that has you blasting blocky aliens, and Cash Run has Aiden hunting down chunky 8-bit coins. Finally, we've got Geordie Chin, who we've already seen in the trailers, and he allows you to take on driving contracts. These can be anything from getaway jobs to breaking into luxury sports car showrooms. Given the way that the police react and the opportunity for vehicular stealth, there's plenty of scope here for doing your best Ryan Gosling in drive impressions. And on the subject of police, Watch Dogs has a heat meter which denotes the amount of attention the police are currently paying you. You can lower this by driving stealthily, doing things like cutting your ignition, killing the headlights and slinking down into your seat. There are also numerous missions in Watch Dogs where you'll have to utilize this as you're forced to drive across Chicago without drawing the attention of hordes of cops. And speaking of cars, all the vehicles in Watch Dogs feature their own first-person cockpit view. You can also shoot the tyres and even the drivers of cars, but this is limited to when you're on foot. The game will even pinpoint weak spots for you if you're in bullet time mode. However, you cannot do this while you are driving. And speaking of being on foot, here's what we know about how Aiden himself controls. This isn't a game about parkour, so don't expect Assassin's Creed-style jumping. Aiden's animation is more about fluidity and telling a story. The public will panic if they see you with a weapon, so Aiden will drop his gun hand to hip level when armed in order to conceal the weapon. It's designed to make the NPCs more responsive and the city feel more real. And that leads us to our final section in which we'll talk about gear. Aiden can carry several weapons which can be equipped at any time using the weapon wheel. This lists your gear by category, so you can pick the kind of weapons such as handguns, sniper rifles and shotguns, then scroll through until you find the one that you want. It isn't just guns either. You can craft several items to distract guards, such as sticky cameras and noisemakers. Later on, you can also use explosives to create more offensive gizmos, and the components for these are scattered throughout Chicago. And that's all we've got. If you enjoyed anything in this video, please give it a like now and let us know which bits of Watch Dogs you're especially looking forward to. Please subscribe now for more similar videos in the future. And don't forget that you can click here to see 16 awesome things about Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and here to see eight amazing things about Destiny.